Okay. Now, with that done and said, let me get this out of the way a little bit. Let's start talking about our first sculpt and some of the primary ways in which we're going to start to work. So most of what I'm talking about is also covered in Module 1, but I'm going to present everything now in a bit more of an expansive context. And I'm going to start giving you options while talking about ZBrushes, you know, the whole system, so to speak. So the first thing we have to do if we're going to create a face, we're going to take this sphere and we're going to start to turn it into a face with some kind of eyes and a nose and then some kind of mouth and some crazy hair and all of that stuff. If we're going to start doing that, we've, we've got to work like a sculptor, a traditional sculptor, and we're in essentially the blocking in phase or the block in. We have a couple of ways that we can block a model in. I'm going to show you first the primary way to do this. The primary way to do this is to use the, the move brush. So we're going to go standard, click this little guy right here, and we're going to come down to the move brush. And in this particular case, I pull out the jaw to get the shape I want, or you pull in the sides to get the proportion that you want. I'm going to pull down the jaw because that's a little more natural. And this is going to fit with uh, a lot of the proportional stuff that you'll see where people will draw a circle and then they draw a wedge and fit it in. Now when we're using the move brush, you have to keep in mind what is the orientation of your model? Which way is it facing? Is it facing up? Is it facing? And you'll see, as I'm working, I don't work straight on. Never do I, I almost never work from this direct frontal axis. If people, if when you're just starting, and in fact, when people just start ZBrush, they always start to get to this strong ax, this, uh, uh, how do I say it? They just always work by the axis because they want everything to be proper and they don't want to make any mistakes. And it's, uh, it's like I was waiting in line uh, to get popcorn at Superman. And um, there's this line forming behind me. And then uh, people on the sides are coming up and going to the three cashiers, and they start their own line. And I start yelling, well, you, you know, I, there's a line here, guys. Everybody get in order. You know, <laughs> we have this natural tendency to want to be ordered if we're a little insecure about what's going on or we just want things to be kind of nice and clean. And uh, that's, that's not going to serve you here. We have to get a little bit on the uh, rugged side. So ZBrush is naturally going to make you a little less clean. And that's actually one of the problems we're going to start to talk about. I work from kind of off axes a lot here, so you can see me. But what I really wanted to make sure you understood is you have to move your model and then move the form and that will adjust where it ultimately is. And if you're, if you're just starting out or you're working with somebody who's just starting out, they can spend hours trying to get that angle right. But once they do, you know, it's not, it's not complicated. You can also work from below. I'm just getting the, they call the, uh, well, let's just get the mandible. I'll keep it simple. Bada bing, pull it out. Spend some time shaping that. So the move brush plus, you see me pressing shift on my keyboard to smooth things out. This is what we're going to be doing a lot. We move and we shift smooth stuff out. Hey, Peter, glad to have you here. Then I come in and establish the three arches, the orbit of the eye, the zygomatic, and the masseter. And the idea is to get in and off axis kind of pull these back so you're leaving a little bit for the nose. But we're trying to establish the overall just the just the main form. We're trying to get just the 
main elements and then pull out a nose, come to the front and really pull this stuff in. But at this point, the move brush has its limitations. So I'm going to undo all of that and what I want to start to do is show you a different brush that's going to take care of that. And if you're already familiar with ZBrush, don't worry, we're going to get much more complicated than we are right now in this lesson, not in this lesson and in the coming weeks. Today's lesson is really for people that are just starting out. I want to make sure you have a framework for understanding this. So we're going to switch over to the next brush of choice, which is uh, the clay buildup brush. So we click clay buildup. We're going to talk about these brushes and what they do in a moment, but if you press and hold Alt on your keyboard, we're going to be able to push all of this stuff in and start to really define this and using smooth, really get nice clean form in a way that you really wouldn't have been able to get before, not with the move brush. We can really pull in that frontal bone, really start to define planes. But one of the things that you have to be mindful of is that this is a very messy brush. So we're going we're gonna to start talking about that and what to expect and all of that in a bit when we get here. But the idea is to find ways and understand how to pull form. So let's look at this nose. How do I pull that nose out? Well, let's switch over here, back to move. And it's a real simple workflow of move to pull form out, get a little bit of a contour, and then go back to clay buildup. And smooth. And clay buildup. And smooth. And just be comfortable and relaxed with the way this works. You just got to get comfortable, got to get relaxed with this soft form that's going to happen in here. Okay. Uh, Matthew, I, it is best to work, it, everybody, Matthew's got a question, is it best to work with perspective on or off? And uh, there is no answer um, to that. I have seen artists use both. The uh, key thing, though, is to just be mindful that in draw, angle of view, the 50 is really high for faces. Uh, sorry, 90. I always set this to 50. So let's stop for a second. Let's take a look. We have kind of blocked in a little bit of form here. I want to show you another way to block in form. 